Welcome to Yankee Stadium. Over recent days, we've seen multiple reports, including from John Morosi of MLB Network, that Blake Snell is still a target of the New York Yankees. He was the Cy Young Award winner last year, and he's had some ups and downs, but there's no question that he would be a nice addition to the Yankees rotation, which is still, to be honest, somewhat suspect, as are most rotations in Major League Baseball. Even teams like the Dodgers have some question marks. Braves have some question marks. Obviously, the Orioles just lost Kyle Bradish, which weakens their rotation. They just added Corbin Burns, so soul for a soul. But Blake Snell is a guy who I think would do well in Yankee Stadium if you can get him on the right contract. 14-9 record last season, 2.25 ERA. As you see, way more strikeouts than innings pitched. 234 strikeouts in 180 innings pitched. 99 walks, so he's a guy who will pitch in and out of trouble. He'll put a couple of guys on base, but he's got a strikeout percentage over 30%, so he'll get out of those jams with strikeouts. That's one of the reasons that I think teams are somewhat hesitant to give him a long-term contract, because how long is that going to be sustainable? But if you look at the Yankees' rotation this year, Garrett Cole at the top, the trim Carlos Rodon at number two. Nestor Cortez hoping for a bounce back year. He's at number three. Marcus Stroman set to be the home opener at number four. Now maybe Cortez and Stroman flip-flop. Uh, Clark Schmidt right now currently your number five. I think he would be more well-suited for the bullpen. And if you slot Blake Snell in at number two, that pushes everybody back a slot. And then Marcus Stroman basically becomes your number five guy or Nestor Cortez. So I think that would work out much better for the Yankees. But there are more rumblings over the last few days. Obviously, full camp reports today, and we're going to start getting games going here next weekend. I'll have a recap on Sunday. So it would not shock me if Blake Snell agrees to a contract over the next few days. It's just a matter of who blinks first, Scott Boris or the teams he is negotiating with. You can bet that we will be live with any news that breaks with reactions. And I'll see you then. Otherwise, recaps beginning next weekend. Okay.